Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So it's season 33, and this is war number 5, and we're going up against an alliance called Suicide Squad. So we're going to check in here. Uh, it's very late that I'm getting in here, and I'll talk about that uh, in a little bit here. Uh, let's go ahead and do a preview. Doesn't look like anybody's banned that I care about. Ooh, they banned Hercules, which they don't often do. Um, but I wasn't planning on bringing him in, so that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and preview. All right, so they've already cleared that out. Uh, my path, which is uh, path three. Um, I'm believing uh, Claire for that one. She should be able to handle that. Uh, both of those. Ooh, we've got uh, Apocalypse. Nobody wanted to mess with him, it looks like. Uh, I can try to take on that Apocalypse with uh, Spider-Man 2099. Um, again, Claire for these. Um, Warlock is good for fighting Warlock. Um, what do we got here? Yeah, that unstoppable armor is, is really, really ugly. I, I don't like that defense tactic. And there's a reason we see it most of the time. Anyway, uh, let's see. And then on Mini Boss Island, we do have Penny Parker as the boss. Uh, if I can, I'll try her with uh, Spider-Man 2099. I haven't fought her um, with Spider-Man 2099. So we might uh, do that. Let's see. Yeah. Hmm. Claire can do that fight as well if she's in good shape. Um, but yeah, we can um, see what everybody else is doing. But that's what I'll try to do here try to clear the path and uh get into um section two here uh one of the things that happened with this war uh that i alluded to earlier uh someone failed to place and uh given that they have 24 hours to do so they've been on and playing there's not really any excuse um we have one of our officers leaving and uh, a lot of officers are not happy with the performance in Alliance War. So um, we will see what happens. But, you know, when somebody doesn't even place, it, it really hurts the morale, you know, the motivation to uh, even play. It was one of the reasons that you know, we got six hours left and I hadn't even started in here. You know, also it's the weekend and um, I'm usually doing other things. But let's, uh, let's do what we can and uh, let's get on with the fighting. So I'll be right back. All right, I'm back and I have some words about this war. And I'm going to save them until the end. Uh, but I want you to notice that I'm just coming in here with six hours left. There's a reason. And more on that uh, later. Okay. Um, but any case, uh, we've got this first fight here. Not really worried about this guy. Uh, he can be dangerous especially if you lose track of the hit counter and he's close to a special three, you can get hit with that special three and then start getting wrecked. So you just want to keep track of that. Um, hit him with a special, you know, to cancel that or just keep baiting. You can do that as well. <clears throat> so uh, Claire, good option here. Uh, I'm a little bit wary of this node only because of the uh, shock that can be applied. It's not a large shock, but it can stack. 
if I remember correctly. And I had a fight where uh, I almost died to that. But as you can see here, not a big deal. And he's down without uh, any difficulty whatsoever. The next fight, um, it's not too bad. Heimdall can be annoying. He can be very annoying and you have to be careful because more than likely they have the parry mastery. And if you get auto blocked, you're gonna get parried and you're gonna get hurt. So fighting him the way that I do, I just bait out special ones. Now you see what happened there? Again, I hate unstoppable armor, really do. Okay, hope they look into it. Hope they nerf the mess out of it. Look at this. It's like unstoppable and he's in instant attack mode. As soon as he gets in unstoppable, he's attacking me. All right, so now I gotta watch for that too. All right, and then here we go. Special two and he's down. Almost got messed up there uh, because I pushed him to a special two, which would have wrecked me. So yeah, we got him down, but it actually was closer than I thought it would be. But that was mainly because of that unstoppable armor. It, it made me panic a little bit and I fought differently than I normally would. Um, so, uh, but that's okay. Now, this one here, Apocalypse, EMP modification, hmm, okay. Bubble shield, aspect of evolution. No unstoppable armor that we have to deal with for this guy. So I'm sitting here thinking really hard. Should I do it? Yeah, I guess so. Um, I didn't take the mini and I could see that my alliance mates were stopped there, which meant they didn't really want to deal with that guy. And fortunately, Spider-Man 2099 can, um, can do this fight, but you're gonna see something. All right. All right, that was fine. I'm not having to deal with EMP modification, by the way, because Spidey 2099 does not gain buffs. So we never have to worry about that. But we have some other things we got to worry about. Like that bubble shield. And that. Now, let me explain something to you. I evade that special too. A lot. But in Alliance War, it seems to be a problem. See that? I tried to evade it again. Now, something that I learned, and I guess with that special two, it's not so easy. But the timing in Alliance War is different. Slightly, just enough to mess you up. I don't know why. Maybe that they consider that some sort of a challenge, or maybe they just tuned it differently I don't know, okay? But I can tell you, I was not happy about that. And I wanted to evade those because of the bubble uh, shield node, all right? Now, and here we go. And you see, I'm just blocking, evading the last part because apparently that's what I have to do, you know? And I did, um, I don't think I did it in this fight. I'm not sure. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I just blocked him. Look at all the damage that I took blocking, which is why I didn't really want to block that. Okay, intercept, boom, finished him off. Look at all the health I've lost though. And they have increased, but anyway, we're not gonna go there. We're not gonna go there. Uh, we'll see what they do. There's been a lot of complaints about how expensive Alliance War is. Uh, so we'll see what they do. 
but right now they're giving us compensation. So uh, I'm not using potions that I had to buy. I'm using potions they've given me. So we got through that one death. Now we got to deal with Hulkbuster. And Claire again, wonderful uh, option for this node. But of course we have unstoppable armor that we gotta watch for. Making a nice routine fight a little bit more dicey. And don't ask me what happened there. Um, and I'll bet you it's, it's intended, but I don't know if they intended it to be quite as bad as it is. You know, why have other defense tactics when one is so overpowered that that's what everybody uses? <coughs> Excuse me. All right, but here we go. And he's down. Not too difficult. I was watching, playing it a little bit safe, and we got it. Now, ran out of energy, but I will have to fight that thing. All right, and you can see I came back. It's a couple hours later. Didn't have to deal with that many either. And I will have to fight this thing and we do get to fight the boss. So anyway, um, I've talked about this before, but in case you did not see the other war videos, thing on this node is a very good placement because it's explosive personality. Claire cannot nullify the armor ups because you can't nullify thing. Not only that, but if you are not very careful with watching his rock stacks, you can get into a situation where we normally would hit into his block in order to get him to generate enough power to bait out a special. But on this node, you don't really want to do that. Okay, so you have to be very careful watching the rock stacks. Okay. And then now watch this here. See how I fired a heavy off? And there. Okay, so let me explain that little technique. You get more power uh, when you fire off that heavy like that. You give them more power. So if I had just tried to do a light or a medium, it wouldn't have pushed him to 15 stacks, which is where I needed him. So I did a heavy and then a hit, and I was able to push him to one bar of power. Um, uh, it, it, it wouldn't have got him the one bar of power, I mean. So that's just a technique. Um, you can get more power by doing the heavy attack. Otherwise, I could have been in trouble there uh, because I would have done you know a couple of hits and he would not have uh, gotten to 15 and then I couldn't hit into his block or else I'd be eventually dealing with an unblockable thing, which I did not want to deal with. All right. So uh, we have a Penny Parker boss and I did not want to take this boss, but I was asked to do it. I didn't have I didn't feel like I had great, great options, but I did have Spider-Man 2099 and I wanted to try him out.
So close, so close, but I fought well. Uh, I learned quite a bit, and I believe that was the first time I fought her with Spider-Man 2099. But it gets worse. But, but, but wait, it gets worse. Now you saw I, I healed up a little bit and I went back in. Obviously, um, I'm gonna be able to finish this off pretty easily. All right, so here we go. And it crashed. Fun. That was 
more health gone, and an attack bonus gone for no reason. And that actually is going to play a part in the results in this war. Play a part. But more on that later. So I'm just sitting here. I'm just like, wow, are you kidding me? Just, just give them points, you know? So I was not happy. I was not happy at all. I, I said, I'm not healing him up anymore. Um, go in with her. And I heard uh, that in the next patch, they're going to make her even more difficult to fight. Like in this one, I can do heavy attacks and not have to worry like that. But if she has her sync shield up and I do that, she's going to be able to auto block or not auto block, but resist it. That's insane. Why do that? You know, but we'll, we'll, we'll figure it out. Hopefully we'll have some other counters for her. But yeah, that, that was just horrible. You know, uh, we should have had another attack bonus there. But anyway, we'll be back and you'll find out how we did. And we're back and we lost this war. Now, I promised that I was going to have some words. So we should have won this war. Now, I want you to understand that we were fighting at a deficit. We had one guy did not place their defenders just didn't place them had 24 hours to do so and did not place them the next thing that we had if you'll notice we didn't explore everything so we had another person that didn't even finish their path so we were fighting at a deficit this is why i got in there late because i honestly was not really feeling this war when i heard those things i'm just like if y'all not going to be serious about this, why should I be, you know? And getting towards the end, it was really close. And we were like, okay, we can win this. Even though the person didn't, uh, you know, uh, put their defenders or anything. But then the guy that didn't finish his path, that was, that was it. That was it. Look at how close the war was, even despite those things. Everyone fought hard for two people to mess us up, and we should have won this war. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys. Thank you all for watching the video. Feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed the war. Leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about this video. And you all have a blessed day.